I want to talk about our sacred traveling spacesuit, our sacred body, our sacred temple, and what it is that we're supposed to do to take better care of it. We all come here knowing that we want to have a more elevated experience, that we want to get through the joys and emotions and understand exactly what it is that our soul's intention and life purpose was when it chose to come into this earth. One of the things that we have to keep sacred in order to do so, our sacred temple clean. Our sacred temple being our body. Now, our body, it is taken so much abuse from the time that we are born to the time that we learn to ride a bicycle. There is so much trauma that the body goes through. Trauma, 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 trauma. There's so much emotion that our brain goes through. Emotion, 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 emotion. But one person that does not need to be harming ourselves is us. We need to make sure that out of everybody here on this planet with us, that the one person that's making sure that we are being protected, that we are being taken care of, that our needs are being met, is us. We need to be the people that are fundamentally making sure that nobody is taking advantage of us, that nobody is making us feel less than, and nobody is disqualifying our emotions. Nobody is taking our power away. How do we go about doing that? Well, the first thing is you don't believe the lies. You don't believe the lies that people are telling you when they tell you that you're worthless, or that you're not good enough, or that you're never gonna amount to anything. Those are all low vibrational energies that are stemming from the original emotion of fear. There are two based energies in this life and it is fear and it is love. And if you are not living in love, you are living in fear. One emotion goes to the other and they meet somewhere in the middle of neutrality. And we will talk about that in another video. If you're enjoying the YouTube content that I'm bringing to you on this channel, now's a really good time to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and bring up the views, okay? So please take a moment, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Getting back to the sacred body, okay? We really need to make sure that the first person that has the respect for our bodies that we deserve is us. And that means no toxic or harsh chemicals, no beating ourselves up, no criticizing ourselves. There's enough people out in this world that are gonna criticize ourselves that we don't need to. There's enough people that are gonna put us down. We don't need to, we have to build ourselves up. We have to elevate upwards. You wanna know why I call this the elevation vibration? Because we are always so down. We're down on our emotions, we're down on our feelings, we're down on our luck, we're depressed, we're hurt, we're angry. That has to stop, guys. That's not where we're meant to be. We are spiritual beings and we are having a physical existence. It's not the other way around. Spiritual beings do not marinate and settle in the negative. Spiritual beings do not sit there and allow others' opinions, thoughts, or situations to affect who they are. Human beings do. Human beings allow other people to dictate their feelings and it takes away their power. And it starts from the time that we're born. It starts from the time when somebody has told us no, that we did not need to cry for that reason. It starts from the minute that somebody gives us their authority of what we're okay to do and not do. As we go through life, we start to realize our own power and what we have control over. We have control over different areas and aspects of our lives, our emotions, our responses. What we really need to focus on is our sexual promiscuities not saying I'm a prude and it's not okay to have sex by any means. <clears throat> Our body is a sacred temple, does not need to go around and have sex with everybody that we meet. When you give your body to somebody, that is an expression of love. That is an expression of a yearning to give the biggest gift that you have to another human being. It is not something that you're supposed to just go and give to everybody. You really want to make sure that who you're giving yourself to isn't going to haunt you. You're not going to carry a piece of them around. Again, we are all energy beings, right? So when you give a piece of yourself in the most beautiful energy format ever, and they give it back to you as well, you will always carry a piece of them around in your soul. <clears throat> Women, this is very important for you. And the reason being is because we have babies that grow in our sacred womb. We have 
and honor and due diligence in our womb to keep it sacred, to keep it for our child to develop and not have it contaminated with energies and entities that don't belong there. You may encounter, um, that's not what I'm saying by any stretch of the word, but what I am saying is that when it comes to giving your body to another human being, you want to make sure that that person is going to respect you and the way that you have given your gift to them. That it is not going to feel dirty and ugly and heavy after the moment has passed. Look at, we are human. We are human beings, but spiritual beings first. As human beings, we have a sexual instinct. We have a sexual desire. We have a sexual appetite. And we need to go ahead and act on that, yes. But do we need to act on it with every single person that we encounter? There are so many people that just go on date after date after date and they lay down with whoever they're on a date with. That's not keeping your sacred temple sacred. How do you feel after you have gone through all of these different sexual partners and you still don't have a mate? How do you feel when you're giving away your sexual power to another person and they're not returning that power by giving you a relationship? No, I'm not saying that it's not okay to go out and have a you know, little one night fling or whatever. That is totally okay, but you don't wanna make it habitual. You don't wanna make it the norm. You don't wanna make it a part of who you have encompassed because with that comes emotional toxicities that it's very hard to release. When it comes to the sacred body and the sacred temple, you wanna make sure that your sexual energy there too is sacred. You wanna give your sacred energy to the person that you have a heart connection with or a serious attraction to. But you don't wanna just give it to somebody because you were out at a bar, you decided to get drunk and boom, now you're horny and you wanna go have sex. No, because now you're bringing in demons. You're bringing in those person's demons. You're bringing up your own demons and you're mixing it up with sexual energy where it does not belong. Sexual energy is the combination of the most sacred. Sexual energy is the combination of the most sacred masculine and most sacred feminine energies. And when they are constricted or misconstrued into something that is not what they are, and they are used for self-gratifying reasons to mask a situation or emotional problem, that's when it becomes a problem. That's when the healing needs to begin. That's when you need to look inside yourself and say, why am I focused on having so much sex? With one particular person, maybe? Are you having more than one partner at a time? And again, I'm not judging anybody. I realize that we all have our own sexual energy and sexual desires, and it's good to have those passions arise from the heart and to act on them with somebody that you fully trust, with somebody that you want to engage with on more than just a one-time affair. Going around and giving yourself to everybody that you meet is no gift to you. It's no gift to the person that you're going to be with. And it's certainly not sacred. If you're trying to elevate your vibrational spirituality and you're running around and giving away your most sacred temple to everybody that you meet and you don't even know who they are or why it is that you want to give it to them, then how sacred is your temple? Here's the thing. If you have two women just as gorgeous or even two men, just as gorgeous as the other one and potential partners to be wedded and you find out that the one that you're currently with or that you are betrothed to let's let's not even put emotional factors into this but if you are betrothed to somebody and you realize how many sexual partners that they have had you may feel why do i want to be with that person they've already contaminated their sacred holy temple women your children have to come through your sacred holy temple. Do you want it filled with a bunch of energy that is not good for you or for your child? And guys, I am all about sex. But the fact remains is that when it comes to sexual energy, when it comes to giving yourself away sexually, 
You don't want to give it to just anybody. They take away a piece of your energy from you and they replace it with a piece of their energy from them and they leave that imprint on you forever. So the next time that you are willing to lay down with somebody and give away your sexual energy, you should really stop to think, is this person somebody's energy that I want with me forever? Is this person's energy okay to be around me and my future child? Is this person's energy going to contaminate my sacred temple that I am going to share with another human being that I love? Look guys, it's real simple. You can have as much sex as you want. You can enjoy it to the fullest with the right partner or partners. But you don't want to go around and give out your most valuable sense of self, your most valuable gift of self, your most valuable loving impression to just anybody. It takes you down. It lowers your vibrational frequency. And after all, how can you elevate spiritually if you're taking actions that are lowering your emotional frequency? If you guys have any questions, I do hope that you'll go ahead and post them down below. I don't know what made me bring up this topic today, but Divine Spirit told me that it was something that needed to be discussed. I was going to talk about who I am and why I decided to make this channel, but instead, Spirit told me to talk about the divine sexual energy between you and your sacred others. And again, like I said, it doesn't have to be just you and one person for the rest of your life, but you do have to make that decision every single time. Is this person's energy something that I want to stay connected to for life? And Light and Loving Service, guys, this message has been brought to you by me, Tara, at The Vibration Elevation. Be sure to check out my website at thevibrationelevation.com. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button now.